When I was young, I really enjoyed history. And the reason why was because I loved the stories and the characters and the people involved in it. Now, generally that's not true for most people. You know, they hear about this, the idea of studying history. It sounds really dry and really boring. And the reason for that is because history is so often presented to us as merely dry dates and facts without any life to it. And if we do actually get stories, too often these stories are just um, presented as the lives of people who are either saints or villains. They're either heroes or their reincarnation of Satan. And the problem with that is that people throughout history are people, they're human just like we are today. And that's true for the facts, and that's true for the events behind those facts. And so when studying history and we're reading and uh, examining the narrative and the story that creates history, what we have to see is that it's actually far more than just facts and dates. And it's far more than just saints and scoundrels. It's the story that God has told of the struggle between the city of man and the city of God. And it's told through the lives of people who are humans just like us. And so when we examine history, that's the focus and goal that we should have in mind to be able to see how we fit in with that and how God is telling the story of that struggle through this narrative and to be able to see how we ourselves fit in that. And so I look forward to being able to examine that and see how that's told in the story of American history. And I look forward to seeing you there.